Welcome back, Keto Wars, to another episode of Cooking with Keto. This time, we've got something very awesome and very easy to make. We have got stuffed peppers. And this particular stuffing is going to be a taco stuffed pepper. So, come on in, and I'm going to show you how it's made. All right, so the things you're going to need for this recipe, pretty simple. Uh, you're going to need some green bell peppers, some sour cream, uh, some mild uh, sauce, uh, this is verde, and uh, some cheese, some hot sauce, because I eat pretty much everything with some franks, and uh, some browned hamburger meat with some taco seasoning in it. Uh, we've got some leftovers here just to make this process a little bit quicker. The very first thing you're going to want to do for this recipe is go ahead and get these washed first, and uh, then you'll just start cutting into them like so. And try to make sure that you don't break the sides because that's what's going to keep everything nice and neat inside there. And just pull out the core like so. Uh, then you're going to try and, uh, you know, dig into those sides a little bit, get the, uh, the extra bits out and get the seeds out. And once you've got all that done, you're gonna want to uh, wash the insides as well to go ahead and get those extra seeds out of there. Now that I've got my peppers hollowed out, I can start adding the meat, cheese, and salsa. I'm gonna go with the verde to start with, and I'm probably gonna add my franks after they're already cooked, uh, but you can go ahead and take a scoop, like so. Go ahead and get your meat. Just get a nice layer going on in there. <clears throat> now some recipes for stuffed peppers will have you go ahead and boil the peppers themselves for five to ten minutes. Uh, you can do that, but I like mine to be a little bit crispier when they're done. So I skip that step. But you don't have to. Right, I've got my meat added in, so the next step is to go ahead and add some salsa as the next layer. You can go ahead and add uh, anywhere from a teaspoon to a tablespoon each in here. It's going to uh, cook through. And, you know, salsa and tomatoes and stuff like that are a little bit higher carb. This one is only uh, one net carb per two tablespoons, so... It's not going to kill you to use a little bit more if you want a little bit of extra verde flavor in there. But that is completely up to you. Okay. And the last step before putting it into the oven is to go ahead and fill the rest of it with cheese. Uh, you can use any type of cheese that you like. I'm going with the mild cheddar and Monterey Jack because that's what I have in my fridge. Here we have the finished product before I throw it into the oven. Uh, you're going to want to throw it in there at 350 degrees for about 45 minutes or until the desired level of crispiness on your pepper uh, is met. Uh, I'm going to check it about 45, see how it's doing, and then I'm going to show you what this looks like. So while we're waiting for the peppers to cook, I just want to go over calories with you. Uh, we got 278 calories, we've got 19 grams of fat, 17 grams of protein, and only 6 net carbs per pepper. Uh, so that's not too bad. Um, you know, if you want to make these, you can break those up, have a couple of them. Uh, if they fit your macros or only one, uh, it's really up to you. So we're going to uh, let these finish cooking and I'll be right back. It's been 45 minutes and I'm taking these out of the oven. This is what the finished product out of the oven looks like. They look delicious. They're still kind of crackling a bit. I don't know if the mic can pick that up, but uh, it's pretty awesome. So I'm going to go ahead and get one of these on a plate and then finalize the dish. So as you can probably tell, the cheese has sunk down a little bit, just enough to let you be able to slap in a dollop of sour cream. Go ahead and get that in there. And then you can add your hot sauce. 
Uh, I'm going with Franks because that is my jam. And there you go. All right, guys, that's it for this episode. I'm going to dig into this, but I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.